Hello everybody. Uh, this is Benusor, and uh, it's actually this is the uh, second time. And I, the reason why I'm doing it twice is because I did it the first time, and I thought it was very, uh, uh, very aggressive, not very uh, friendly, especially the first half of the commentary. So I, I took that video down off YouTube, and uh, I'm gonna do it again. So if you guys have already seen it, I didn't know I'm, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't seen it, uh, you're not really missing much because it wasn't a very good commentary. Uh, I almost never do commentaries twice, but this game was just so fun I wanted to put it up. I didn't want to put it up with a, uh, a bad commentary on it. So a little just about the uh, gameplay you're seeing in the background. It's uh, Conquest on Erica Harbor. I should make a note that the team I'm playing with is totally uh, matchmaking made. There's absolutely nobody on my friends list, no party involved, which uh, you know makes the fact that we actually did pretty good uh, that much more impressive, I guess. Um, I'm running the engineer kit, as you probably know, because it's the only kit with rocket launchers. Uh, the engineer kit the Carl Gustav with the uh, extra Carl Gustav with the extra explosives and the extra explosive damage. And if you didn't know the reason why I'm doing the Carl Gustav in this video is because the Carl Gustav does more damage against infantry than the other rocket launchers. It also flies a lot faster and thus a little, uh, a little easier to use, for lack of a better term. Uh, and this is kind of a douchey setup. A lot of people don't like this. is one of the things that people complain about. Uh, they think Carl Gustav should not be powerful enough to be a primary. But, since they are, uh, I'm going to have some fun with them. God damn it, I gotta stop doing that. <coughs> oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, if you're looking for a pretty fun uh, little just game for distraction, I would definitely suggest trying this. Especially if you're not terribly good with the noob tubes. Uh, because this is a little more effective than a noob tube strat than a noob tube only, simply because it's uh the Gustavs are more powerful. They have a bigger blast radius, they travel fa fa yeah, faster. You don't have to worry about getting your trajectories down. They're uh, pretty much the universal... Uh, well, I shouldn't say the best. They're not the best rocket launcher. I think the RPG is the best against... You know, I, I, would say I like the RPG the best. But the Gustav is the best for just sticking around and shooting infantry. And since that's what I'm doing in this video, that's the one I'm using. <sighs> well, I'm still not used to doing commentaries for these long videos yet. So, uh, hopefully it doesn't show too much. I'm sure it does. Mm. But, uh, yeah, this is, a. Uh, I guess I could give some tips on how to play like this. If you're gonna run to, uh, you don't want to do this strategy, um, I would say stick to uh, shooting enemies that are in uh, urban environments because you do get a significant uh, that splash damage off the walls really does help. Uh, so stick to enemies in urban areas. Uh, they're great for taking out enemies that are camping in buildings. So especially on this map, like I'm doing in this video, you know. Uh, it works perfectly on a map like this. You don't have to use the, ex the explosive upgrades or extra explosives, but if you're running with an assault guy, uh, a reliable assault guy, I would say highly suggest it because you get more. It doubles it. I think normally you get three, and with the, with the ex ex upgrade you get either six or seven. I can't remember. I think it's six. Uh, 
And you can think with this, the Gustav is strong enough to do it to set up for each rocket can get you a kill. So you can get about six kills per per you know spawn, which is a six to one KD. And by any means, you know, doesn't matter who you are, a six to one KD is pretty damn pretty damn nice. Now, I don't do nearly that well this game. I don't remember what my final score was, but I know it wasn't uh, it was not six to one. Uh, I'm not that good. Oh, me. Wow. It's a Friday night. I've had a long week at work. I was sick yesterday, so I'm tired. I feel like an old working man. I'm tired on a Friday at night. I remember back in school, Friday nights were the night everybody worked for. You just sweat Fridays. Now, Friday nights are just a night to ex extra night to sleep. How sad is that? Uh, Another thing I want to talk about is if you're going to use the do stuff, try to like stick to an urban situation, an urban map uh, where you can use the the backdrop, the backdrop and uh, explosive splash off the walls. Um, but they're also very effective against helicopters because they are so fast. Uh, it's very unlikely that you'll get the uh, you'll be able to one shot the helicopter, especially if it's a Blackhawk. Uh, but you will still will take it down, you just won't get as much points. So it's a little uh, it's kind of a trade off. Do you wanna do you wanna do that or do you not wanna do that? I really don't like them against tanks. Uh, they're not terrible against Bradleys, but against uh, main battle tanks or you know, the T ninety T ninety and the Abrams, they're pretty uh pretty weak. But then again they do travel very fast and very flat, so you can uh, in that aspect, they do give you an advantage in them, in how you can, uh, you know, they're very easy to shoot at tanks, because you don't have to try and calculate a bullet, you know, an arc, and they travel so fast, you really don't need to lead too far. Uh, you're going to get hate if you do this setup. <laughs> I just want to say that now, if you do plan on doing this. But, it is fun. And uh, you should definitely at least be willing to try it if you're if you're into one, if you're having a if you're at a point in the game where the game is stale and it just doesn't seem like you can find anything uh, anything enjoyable. You know, I know that some people are gonna you know not like me for suggesting that people actually play like this, but yeah. I would suggest give it, give it a shot. It may bring some some uh, entertainment back into the game. Because I know when you once you once you reach like the mid 40s and levels, like I am, I think I hit almost hit 44. When you hit those levels, um, you tend to uh, grind the XP away, and even the most patient gamers can get they, that grind can be a bit bit of a pain. So if you're looking for an entertaining diversion. Had a very entertaining, uh, you know, sidetrack, and I would, I'd say try this. You may like it, you may not. Uh, I just started doing this. Uh, yeah, I say that with a lot of stuff, but I really do. I just restarted the pistol games. I just started this noob tube, the uh, noob tube thing, and I'm doing the Gustav thing more often. It's, uh, you know, up to you guys how you want to. Uh, Ooh, double kill with the M14. Anyway, it's up to you guys. You know, everybody has their own ways of doing different things. Some people like to run kits they don't use. Some people like to use their normal kits for different weapons or different setups. You, know, you gotta have fun. If you can't have fun, you're, you're playing it wrong. Even when the game's been out for this long, and you know, you're probably... Most people uh, that have been playing it for a while are probably in the 30s or 40s in levels by now, if not even, you know, 50. And it's gonna get boring. You know, the games are gonna are gonna drag. The levels are gonna drag. Everything's been going to uh, seem like it takes twice as long. And it's because it's because it does take twice as long. So you just have to uh, you have to try to find new ways of dealing with it. Give it a shot. Now the next. Uh, 
I had in my pistol video, um, there's an Alta, I'll be offering up a game to use as a my gameplay or commentary the second part, the second game that, and it will be the gameplay. It will be this video, this gameplay. Uh, obviously I'll take my commentary off and just render it again. I'll be rendering it as WMA, so it should work in Windows Movie Maker. You have that on your computer. Uh, and I'll be putting it on the Dropbox, and what I would do with that is I'll just put a link to the file in the description of the video, and you go and click the link and download the file, and you'll have the full file on your computer without a reduction in quality, so it'll be at the full quality level that it's at. And I am going to also remove the uh, high contrast, so it's back to the normal look. I know some people may not be a huge fan of the high contrast. I personally like it, so that's why it's on my videos. But since these will either be on your channel or uh, in your name, I'll take that off for you guys. A uh, couple other things. Uh, if you did a commentary for the last set, the last video, you are welcome to do another one. There is no uh, limitations in terms of how many times you can do it. You can do multiple commentaries on the same video if you want. The only stipulation that I ask for that is that if you're going to do multiple commentaries on the same video, that you handle the rendering. Because it's a heck of a lot of time for me to put into it, and I probably won't. I just don't feel like... I, know I shouldn't say I don't feel like it is, but it's so, you, know, you have to be like you know, six hours a, a video for me to render. I think it's a lot. Uh, especially if you have like three or four of them. There's a full day's worth of rendering, and meanwhile I can't put up any of my own content if I decide to, and it also kills my computer because I can't use my computer during that time. But anyway, um, yeah, you can submit multiple videos if you've already done it before, do it again. It'll be a different format this time, so hopefully it's a little easier, uh, a little higher quality for you guys. Anyway, that's coming up uh, soon, don't know when. You won. You can check my score, my, uh, and my overall scoreboard. I don't remember if I got the ace or not. I think I did get the ace. I know I got like 28 kills, and I just don't know how many times I died. Um, yeah, check that out. Not too bad. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, happy fragging.